Tommy, I'm, I'm feeling a bit gutted because of the loss, but I guess it's such an incredible run. It had to end at some point. It's ended today, but what are your thoughts after that? Well, the overriding emotion is absolute pride. Mm. I'm, I'm delighted the way that the lads responded. I think we shot ourselves in the foot in the first half, but we're against really, really good footballers. Yeah. You know, West Brom are a class act. They're not, you don't fall to the top of the championship, and they've got every chance of being at Premier League status again next year. So, listen, I. I I wanted fundamentals to be right. We made a couple of errors and they punished us, and that's, hap that's what happens when you play against top class opposition. But I've got to say, at half time, they were, we were very calm in there, and, and I just said to them, look, we can, we can get something positive out of this experience if, if we play more like us in the second half. And I thought we did. We used the ball better, we, we, we went toe to toe, if, and they obviously were getting a little bit younger with the, with the substitutions that they made, so it, it evened it up a little bit. But. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled that we scored a goal because I keep banging on and I fancy our, our lot to score in every game we play. I did, and you know, in the wildest dreams, you, you you, it's another story for the FA Cup with Oppie Bray getting yeah. his first goal in his second appearance. So, all in all, listen, of course we're disappointed we're out of the cup, but you know, let's be realistic. It's been a really good journey, um, and I hope it gives the lads that ambition for more. Well, let's talk about that goal quickly because, as you said, it's one of those FA Cup stories, isn't it? You know, not long ago, Ollie was playing in step four for Willem Rovers. Here he is at the Hawthorns, scoring him against championship, championship opposition. It's, it is a bit romantic, that story, isn't it? It is. You know what? I, I'm, I wanted to see him run to the other end of the pitch and celebrate with our fans, but it wasn't, wasn't a big, it was so late in the game. But look, like I said, that, it's a huge tick box for him in terms he's been on the pitch for all of the 20 minutes of two games and he scored a goal so that's all the strikers on the sheet now so yeah we'll we move on but there uh, you know now we've got to be really really mentally strong because we're going from this stadia to with all due respect to Bishop Storford in the FA Trophy next week and there won't be 16,000 people or whatever it is that was here um, so it's it's going to be about us and how we approach that game but we want to we want to progress in that competition as well you mentioned the quality of our opposition today. You must then be pleased with the side having, in that second half particularly, there was a lot of spells of possession for us. We, we played some really good football in that second half, so you must be proud of that. Oh yeah, I am. Listen, but no overriding emotion is prayed. I mean, at the end of the day, I think us as a football club have handled ourselves fantastically well to get here and then to perform like we did. Like I said, I didn't see any issues with fitness or you know agility, mobility, whatever you want to call it. Some of them were bigger, faster, stronger than us, but that's because that's why they're playing in the championship. You know, they're really athletes at this level. Um, and like I said, I'm just overwhelmingly proud of that all. And that end behind you, it's empty now, isn't yeah. it? But filled with well, it, they, it wasn't announced, but I think around 4,800 shot fans at least. That's incredible, isn't it? Fair play to all of them that turned out today. Well, there'll be a traffic jam on the M40 then, won't there? So we might wait for a little while before we get on the bus. But listen, they were outstanding, the shot fans. I mean, everybody who's come from the bottom of the yard, I really thank them. Um, but I don't want this to be the end of anything. It's, it's not even the beginning of anything. It's part of the journey. That's what football clubs do. Um, but I want us to have more days like this. And whatever competition we're in, we'll try and entertain, we'll try and win. And we'll go as far as we can in every competition. You mentioned briefly earlier about your half-time team talk. That might have been a bit of a tricky one with us 3-0 down, but what, what, what did you say to the lads to, to give them that belief that they could come out, especially in, in a position like that, and, and play some good football? I actually said to them, I thought that we'd give them a little bit too much respect, which is understandable. You, you know, when you're playing a team as, as good as what they are, and we saw how good they were very early on in the game, uh, it's, it's very easy to step backwards thinking that you're being you know, safe, but... but I, I just told them to be a little bit more self-belief. I thought we got on the ball. We, we got on the ball at times in the first half, but we just, in the second half, because they're three mil up, they might be taking the foot off the, off the gas a little bit. But ultimately, we didn't stop trying to get towards their goal with the ball. And I thought we pressed better in the second half. And obviously, we've made changes and brought legs on. So we've got a bit, a bit more you know, freshness in the legs. But look, to a man, anybody who went on the pitch and the lads sitting behind me, They've done fantastic, you know, the, the, I know the football club are proud of them, I know the fans are, are proud of them, but we're also proud back, back as well.